Right, another quickie on the W208, but actually this can apply to any car. Um, if you're like me, I cannot stand plugging GPSs anything into the cigarette lighter because then you can't close the door, you can't get cords hanging all around and everything. So basically what I'm just going to do today is hardwire uh, my GPS into the fuse box. Um, like I said, it can be done on any car, depends on the position of your fuse box as to, uh, to where you're going to route the wires or anything. From the W208, the fuse box is under the side panel on the driver's side. You've just got the access door on the side there. And that gives you access to not all the fuses, but there's the fuses that we need, which is going to be... Um, I'm going to be using the high beam uh, headlight fuse because I don't want the GPS to be on when the car is off. So I'm using the high beam fuse because the high beam will either... There's only power to that high beam fuse, which is... There's left and right. Uh, one, three, five. Uh, the, the second two here are left and right high beam. And there's only power to those when either the light switch is on or the car is on. So, um, basically when the car is off, the uh, GPS is going to be off, and that's exactly what I want. So, uh, anyway, I'll be back in two seconds to show you what I've got here. Sorry, filming at night, so light sucks, as usual, but as I've said before, I work when I can work. Okay, I've got one of these 12-volt, uh, it's a... Uh, uh, car lighter adapter basically just to, for plugging in a lighter accessory and also for clamping it to a battery. I got this one because it was on sale, it was half price like three bucks, uh, way cheaper than the regular ones and I can, I don't need these two battery clamp ends but I can snip them off and use them for stuff later so basically free battery clamps uh, for doing this and I want to make this so it's completely removable so I can take the GPS out of this car uh, if there's any reason to move it to someone else's car and actually plug it into another car and not have a problem, not to have a, uh, an issue doing that. So basically it's going to be, uh, so I can take this whole thing with me if I ever have to. But it's all going to be hidden under the dashboard. So uh, and we're going to snip these two terminals off and I'll be back in one. Okay, again, depending on the car, your grounding points and stuff are going to be different. Um, again, this is Mercedes W208. Uh, so I am going to use this bolt right here, which is basically just underneath the... I'm just pulling the door trim strip, just pull it away in order to get access to it. It's a 13 mil bolt, so I'm going to be taking that off. That's what I'm going to be using for my ground, because um, it's right near the fuse panel. And it's nice and convenient, and be back in one second. Okay, so the second part that I'm going to be using for this is... Uh, they're about... I think there was nine bucks. Um, I haven't bought one of these for a while, they were just in my tool case. Uh, this is an Atta fuse, and you can get them for standard size fuses or the mini fuses, you can get both. And basically what it does is it replaces, you pull a fuse out of the circuit you want to use, for, in my case I'm using the headlights, uh, the high beam, because that's only on with the ignition. And then you plug this into the regular fuse box, and now you have an additional uh, circuit on the top there, so you can see the, the where the wire comes out of the the top <clears throat> and the bottom you just put your regular fuse you put your fuse back in that one and that's your regular circuit protected by that fuse and then this top one is the circuit that we're adding on so I've wired that I just I came with a crimp connector on the end so I've crimped it to the positive part because this is obviously it's a fuse so it's positive and I'm sliding a uh, I'm going to be shrinking the shrink wrap over top of that and then the negative I've just added a uh, loop, um, <laughs> brain not working, just a, just a, a crimped on a, 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 a bolt loop, and I'm going to be using this and bolting it back, this is the bolt that I took out of the door sill where we saw earlier underneath the dash, and I'm going to be bolting that back on, and this will just plug into the fuse panel, and then basically I will plug the GPS into this, feed it down underneath the dash, which is very easy right underneath the fuse panel, I can just pop these down, uh, this and all the wiring will fit under the dash, sit there on the under dash tray, and then just feed the wiring up uh, on top of the dash underneath the trim to the GPS, and it'll be all out of the way. So, I don't, there's not a lot to explain here, it's very simple. Um, like I said, I'm just going to shrink wrap this on there. I can do that while you're watching, just in case anyone doesn't know how shrink wrap works. Um, you don't need to use a lighter, you can use a heat gun, you can use a hair dryer. 
I'm using a lighter because I got one in the car. Go Zippo. And that's just because this is a positive wire connection and just in case anything happened to this, uh, you don't want that to connect to anything. I doubt it ever will, but just in case. So anyway, I'm going to hook these two up and I'll show you when they're hooked up. Uh, as I said, this is dead simple. There's not much to show you. Um, back in one. Okay, trying to stay out of your light here. Now you're going to see at the end of the, you can see the yellow ring connector where I bolted the, the, the bolt. This is like a dash mount bolt. So it goes straight to ground. It's, it's metal to metal contact, so I'm using that for the ground. And there's the other end of the add -a fuse or add -a circuit. And on the bottom you can see the original 7.5 amp fuse for the headlights, for the high beam. And on top, that's the circuit that, uh, that's the fuse for the circuit that I just added on. That's where the wire is coming out the top one. So that's the top, so the, the circuit we just added on. Don't add a fuse higher amperage than the one that you're hooking up to. Anyway, so this is just simply, like I said, this is dead simple. I'm just going to plug this in back to the high beam headlight fuse. See, it's plugged in there. And then this. There's a spot here. Uh, I, I guess every car is going to be different, but the W208, there's a spot here in order to fit this down in. I'm just going to plug. Hold on a second. I'll do this right now. If I could find the damn wire. <laughs> oh, there it is. I'm just trying to find the... Sorry about that. just trying to find the wiring for the, uh, the plug for the GPS. Just going to plug into there. And like I said, this can now be removed and taken out any time and still move to another car use another vehicle and this whole unit itself then I'll take the 13 millimeter bolt out pull, unplug this and it's useful on another car so now I'm basically going to tuck this in um, I'm going to need two hands and I'm not going to have enough light for this uh, I've got to pull this little lip out and tuck this in and tuck as much wire as I uh, as I need and then run it basically up along the dashboard under the A-pillar to where hey Let'd my lights go out. Damn it. Okay. To where I'm going to mount the GPS up on the A-pillar in front of the steering wheel. So uh, I'll show you that in two seconds when it's done. Again, I can't think of anything else there is to explain. There's not a lot to explain here. Uh, back in two seconds. Okay, on the W208 here, I switched from the high beam fuse to the uh, license plate fuse, which is fuse number 11. Uh, because it appears the high beam fuse only gets power when the high beams are actually on. Um, I'm not sure how that whole system is working, but it's only sending power to that fuse when the high beams are on. So uh, you'd have to have your high beams on in order to have the, uh, uh, the the GPS on. So anyway, I just ran the wire. The wiring all just tucked right under here. It's not in the way of the, the parking brake or the... Uh, the hood release catch under here I checked to make sure it's actually just tucked right in here it's all just neatly right down under there um, up out of the way and so the GPS wiring is all yeah I know you can't see because there's no freaking light I apologize for using a little flashlight now so all there is is this little wire that goes from the GPS and then disappears down the A pillar trim and down underneath and once the side cover is on going in there we go it's all hidden and gone so GPS on turn the ignition off GPS will go off or you can uh, on mine you can push it to stay on but when I turn the car back on yes you heard that squeal I need a new belt the GPS comes on so anyway uh, very simple and now I do not have to worry about uh, cords everywhere and I have my cigarette lighter free for whatever the hell I want it for. Anyway, thanks for watching. I uh, hope I didn't bore you too much.